Good morning. It's Friday, March 17th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Hiding from Truth. And our scripture is 1 Samuel, chapter 15, where the prophet Samuel is having a conversation with King Saul after the battle with the Amalekites and King Agag. But Samuel replied, What is more pleasing to the Lord, your burnt offerings and sacrifices, or your obedience to his voice? Listen, obedience is better than sacrifice, and submission is better than offering the fat of rams. Rebellion is as sinful as witchcraft, and stubbornness as bad as worshiping idols. So because you have rejected the command of the Lord, he has rejected you as king. Then Saul admitted to Samuel, Yes, I have sinned, I have disobeyed your instructions and the Lord's command, for I was afraid of the people and did what they demanded. But now, please forgive my sin and come back with me so that I may worship the Lord. But Samuel replied, I will not go back with you. Since you have rejected the Lord's command, he has rejected you as king of Israel. As Samuel turned to go, Saul tried to hold him back and tore the hem of his robe. And Samuel said to him, The Lord has torn the kingdom of Israel from you today, and has given it to someone else, one who is better than you. And he who is the glory of Israel will not lie, nor will he change his mind. For he is not human that he should change his mind. Then Saul pleaded again, I know I have sinned, but please... At least honor me before the elders of my people and before Israel by coming back with me so that I may worship the Lord your God. So Samuel finally agreed and went back with him, and Saul worshipped the Lord. A mask hides what's underneath. Symptoms can mask a deeper problem. Criminals wear masks and use masks to hide their activities when caught. Even when apprehended in the very act of their crime, an excuse mask is an attempt to wiggle free from the consequences. Masks are common, weak, and ever-present. Just ask King Saul. Saul knew what God wanted him to do, which was to completely destroy the Amalekite nation. He began well, but never completed his mission. When it came to finishing the task, he tweaked the orders to savor some of the victory for himself. He didn't put the Amalekite king Agag, a ruthless killer, to the sword. He also managed to pocket some of the wealth of the nation, the livestock. The reasons were obvious. Parading the captured king Agag like a puppet on a string would build Saul's prestige among the people he ruled and keeping the livestock to provide a feast for the people, well, (laughs) feed them and who can get angry? Keeping the critics off your back is sometimes a full-time job when you're a king or any other leader. Pastors take note. When questioned by the prophet Samuel about his rebelliousness, Saul put on his best excuse mask, deflecting Samuel's questioning accusation. The livestock were for a sacrifice to honor Jehovah. From Samuel's answer, we can easily see that he saw right through it, and it disgusted the prophet. He told Saul God was done with him because he didn't know the difference between building his own name and honoring God's name. This incident is how Saul found out where God is concerned, there's no such thing as playing both sides of the truth. No mask is capable of hiding you from he who is truth. Saul tried to claim some of the glory and spoils that God had said were off limits. That is not a plan that ever turns out pretty. For you today, one of the reasons God gave us regular worship in church is that we are surrounded by reminders of what it's like to live in truth, and then we are more likely to value living in truth than grabbing whatever we can obtain by untruth. Saul learned that lesson the hard way, and it cost him whatever honor and place in the kingdom he thought he possessed. He was afraid of the people's opinion of him. He should have been concerned with God's opinion. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. 
Have a blessed day.